I'm going to show you the exact process I use to get this junk removal company in Long Beach, California to the top of Google. My step-by-step -step process. Let's get to it. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I teach junk removal business owners, small, uh, dumpster rental companies, small business owners, how to build their own search engine optimized websites and show them how to rank those websites to get to more exposure online, which equals more calls and more business for their businesses. And today, what I wanted to discuss, and I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step, my exact process that I use to rank business owners' websites on Google with all the SEO stuff that I, sh that I basically know how to do. So today we're gonna to be discussing how I got this young man's Long Beach Junk Removal Company out in uh, Long Beach, California, how I got his business to show up at the top of Google here. His name is Gorilla Junk Services, right here in the map listings for these specific words, Long Beach Junk Removal, which has about 300, 350 searches every single month. So I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step the exact process that, I'm, that I used to get him to the top and it took uh, it took us February, March, April, May, five, almost six months because his website was completely brand new. And I told him he has to be patient. It's going to take time for Google to trust his business. But it did take us a long time with a new domain, with a new website, and a new business. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make this happen. Okay, when I got started here with Alejandro over in Long Beach, California with Gorilla Junk Services, he had his website built by somebody else. So what I did is I went in and went ahead and started to rebuild his website, SEO optimized it, added content, as, you know, add the title text of the pictures, everything that I do with SEO. That's the very first thing that I did to rebuild his website. And the whole concept, the whole thing behind it was to target these words, Long Beach Junk Removal, because that's the area that he's trying to get business for. This is where his business address is located. And this is where there's a lot of search volume for junk removal in that particular area. So that was the main objective. So I built his website, rebuilt it. Um, everything's SEO optimized. Everything I talk about in all my videos. You need your uh, meta title, meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, good content, all that good stuff. So that's exactly what we did. We built it, rebuilt it, added the content. Um, here's the H2 title tags, H2 title tags good content we built service pages here we added about contact before everything we added his reviews we just built rebuilt his website from top to bottom so that's the very first thing that we did and this was about the end of january mid-january end of january when we got this thing started and i told him look you really want to do this seo it's going to take some time and you're going to have to trust me and you're going to have to be patient with the process so that's the very first thing this is half the battle of seo it's just built in a well optimized seo friendly website um, right from the get-go is half the battle. Um, once we finished that, we got started on to the next step. Let me show you the exact step, step that I took right after I finished building his website. Okay, when I do SEO, the first things first, I'll make sure the website's completely SEO optimized. So the next thing that I do is, especially when the website's new, it's just been sitting around for a long time, what I do is I create a press release. What this press release does, it creates an article and you spread it out to a bunch of um, news outlets. Um, a lot of them are just online. You create an article. And what this does, is it gets the ball rolling. It starts signaling to Google that your website exists, that your domain address exists. It starts to, it's kind of like starting a fire. You need the spark to get things going. So I use a press release to make that happen. So here's a report just to show you what it looks like once I get it done. You, and you can outsource all of this stuff. Uh, and this is exactly what I do. I just got connections where I could get some of these stuff done a lot cheaper. But here is a press release. So you can see um, each one of these, you click on one and it'll show you an article written for uh, Gorilla, Gorilla Junk Removal Services in Long Beach, California. So what, is, what this does, it starts to create some backlinks. Um, they're all temporary. They, they start to fade away with time, but it gets the ball rolling. It gets the spark going, it gets things going and it starts to signal to Google that your business exists. And it's, a lot of businesses do this. I've been doing this for a long time, and this is the very first thing that I do with SEO, and it's, it's, it works almost every time. A lot of the stuff that's out about SEO, a lot of it's just theory. Nobody, There's no document from Google that shows you step-by-step step how to make things happen. This is just trial and error, and I've picked up all this information over the years, and this is how I get started. I use a press release, 
to get things going. And again, we started at the end of January and he got to the top of Google around the end of June. So it took about five months, five and a half months to make this happen. It's a completely brand new domain name. So it took a long time for Google to start trusting this uh, domain address. So that was the very first step. Did a press release, get that done. And a lot of them I like to include the map listing, which is in here, into the press release. And like I said, it'll go into two, three, four hundred articles all over the internet. And they tend to just be de-indexed after a while. Google forgets about them, but it does get things rolling, gets the ball rolling for the SEO. So after I'm done with that, I work on a next step. So we got the we set the wheels in motion with that press release. It's gonna take a little bit for it to go out there by another two weeks. In the meantime, the next step that I take is I build business listing citations and what this does is starts to mention your business name your business address your business phone number in as many places as possible online so that google starts to get the message that you're a legitimate business uh, sees your business all that information repeatedly in a bunch of different places again you can outsource this in a bunch of different places they call citations listings uh, again i do the same thing i outsource it i got places where i get them a lot cheaper because i do them in bulk um, but that's the next thing that we do or basically the next thing that i do so here's an example of like the chamber of commerce.com here's this business listing right here uh here's one on i forgot the name of show me local there's his uh right there and it creates a link back to his website as well here's here for yahoo um go local 247.com so there's places where you can get a couple hundred of these done and then you're done. You just set it out there again. And what this is doing is making your business more relevant online to Google. It creates a bunch of little backlinks pointing back to your website. So Google starts getting the message that you're legitimate, that you have so many links, you're trustworthy. And again, it does take time to make that happen. So business citations. So we've gone through the press release, business citations. Now we go on to the next step. Okay, now that I've gotten that taken care of, I'd send out the press release. I got my citations done. So all those are going to take a couple weeks to get done. When you get your press release back, they usually send you an email when you outsource all this stuff. They send you an email telling you it is complete. As soon as that is complete, I go do something that's called social signals. This is what I've been taught. This is what I've been doing for years now. So what happens, like, take example, a new movie comes out, a new drink comes out, a new TV show comes out, a new product comes out. Most companies, what they'll do is they'll send out a press release to get the word out, to get things going. And what usually happens after that, uh, people start talking about it on social media. You know, that's just kind of the natural thing that kind of happens. This is, the, what, this is what we're trying to do with your business. This is what I do with people's businesses. Um, so as soon as I get that press release, there's places like on Fiverr. Uh, there's another, another business place called Legit. Uh, there's places where you can get these done right afterwards. And just you're, all you're looking for is to manually create some social signals. All you need is about 2,000, 4,000 social signals, and they're relatively cheap. You get them anywhere from, you know, 25, 30 bucks, even five, 10 bucks, depending on where you go. They're not really something super quality. What we're trying to do is just mimic uh, a press release. A business just came out. People are talking a little bit about it on social media. So we're just trying to mimic that behavior, what normally takes place with business. So Google kind of gets all that information. It's a slow thing you're doing. You get the ball rolling. Um, you get that fire going, you know, by this time after this, your, uh, your, uh, press release is complete. The social people's talking about it and you got them out there on business citations. So they're starting to get links. Google's starting to take notice. And then that's where we move on to the link building. So what really causes a website to show up? Number one out of search results for particular words, what it really takes is something called backlinks. Now a backlink is a website. It's a it's a, some wording on a website that's highlighted. When you click on it, it goes to another website. You guys are all familiar that we've been online for decades now. So we all have seen it before you're reading an article, you see where it's just highlighted, you click on it and it goes to a particular website. The reason that website is creating a link to another website is because the information on the other website is very important that it's highlighting it and pointing it to that. So what Google's doing is looking for as many backlinks pointing to a particular website and that's how google's algorithms and crawlers know to trust the website every time a website points a link back to your website it, it's basically a vote of confidence google sees that as that 
that website likes this content so it points link back to it if another website points your link back to it the more you have pointing to your website the more google trusts your business this is the hardest part of seo and it takes a while to build all this stuff up and it has to be natural you just can't spam the hell out of it with these all these there's places where you can get these backlinks but they're spammy as hell and believe it or not google's algorithm can sniff that crap out and you know penalize you for doing that so i have tools that show me how many backlinks websites have i pay a lot of money for these monthly services um you don't need to have this information i just want to show you what it takes so you got 1-800 junk right i have this tool that shows me the number of backlinks 1-800 junk.com has and here check it out right here this is showing 202,000 links pointing back to 1-800 got junk so you think google trusts this website it absolutely does it's got you know a quarter of a million links pointing right back to this website i'll give you another example um let's see what we got here so if you go on to Google and you type in snapback hats, those three words, the top website, these are all ads, ignore all this stuff, is this one right here, hatsworld.com. Snapbacks over 150 styles. So I put that in my tool and it shows me 2,444,000 ,4 backlinks to this website. That's one of the biggest reasons why this website's ranked number one for that particular word because this website has been shared 244,000 times on 244 different websites pointing back to this website. So that's how Google trusts this business. So how do we do that with a tiny little local business? How do we start creating these links? Out of these 244,000 links, I would say 90 to 80% of them are pure garbage. They're just really low quality websites pointing right back to this website. So all we have to do is mimic this exact same thing. And how I do this, is by creating something called web 2.0s so what do you do you go to like blog let's see here blogspot.com create an account create a login information and then you write an article about your junk removal company with a highlighted backlink pointing right back to your company that's one way of creating some low quality a uh, bunch of just garbage links because you're going to need them to filter out the good ones that you got going websites don't really have one strong link from another website they have pretty much 80 to 90 percent garbage links and you know 10 to 20 percent really good links pointing back to a website that's what looks natural to google so what we're doing is creating a bunch of these websites this web this web exact page here is legit it's not high quality it's not very trustworthy but it's still a link nonetheless so what i to do is i start to create 20 to 30 um they're called web 2.0 it's pointing back to my website and you know what? You can outsource all of this stuff down too. You can just go onto uh, Fiverr, legit, and order Web 2.0 services, get these built out and pointing back to your website. But you can't do them all in one shot. You have to do maybe two, three, four a week. Next week you're doing four. Next week you're doing six. Next week you're doing two. It's gotta be all spread out to make it look natural. So that's what I start doing after I finish the press release, the citations, the social signals i start building web 2.0 links pointing right back to a business owner like this one gorilla junk removal services pointing right back to the business you can see here's a bunch of web 2.0s have gotten these done there you go and a lot of stuff you get stuff done on fiverr and all these other outsourced places so that's the next thing i do and then the next part i do is the high quality links these are the difficult ones to get on legitimate websites with legitimate traffic that are just legit and Google sees them as very trustworthy. A link from a very trustworthy website is worth a hundred times more than one little garbage link from web 2.0. So I'm going to show you how to make that happen too. All right. Like I mentioned before, backlinks is the key. That's the secret ingredient. That's the hardest thing to do in all SEO to get your website to rank on Google. So after you start building all your web 2.0s, that's created a bunch of links. Your business citations has created a bunch of links that press release has created a bunch of links but a lot of those links are just straight trash but there's still signals really faint signals out the distance that google can see so the next thing you want to start to do is to start building some strong backlinks pointing to your websites from legit websites that are have traffic that have been around for a while and that's the next step to it all so how do you do this so you start to reach out to people that have blogs, business business blogs, business websites, 
and get an article written, something to talk about on your business, and it starts to create, you create an article and then you create a backlink pointing back to your website from this trustworthy website and it starts to build that real trust with Google. This is the hardest part of it all, but guess what? You can outsource all of this stuff too. And again, I do a lot of this outsourcing. I buy massive, massive amounts of this service in bulk, so it saves me money in the long run, but there's places where you can get this done. And but the, I have to tell you, some of these links could cost you anywhere from three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for one link, depending on the trustworthiness of the website, how much traffic the website gets, the stronger the link, the better. So you can spread it out and get a link built back to your website one or two every month until this process starts to get your business ranked on Google. So during this time, I'm still building all the Web 2.0s for like the Gorilla Junk Removal. I was still building the 20 to 30 Web 2.0s every month pointing back to his website so that there's still that faint signals of links getting built out there online. But then I start hammering it in with some good links like this one right here. Kelly's thoughts on things. There was an article written on, uh, let's see what it is it here, the title of it. Even in junk removal, your appearance matters. I don't, you know, it's a, it's a good little article right here. Um, talks about whatever they're talking about right here. But you'll see highlighted in the article a link that says junk removal. You click on that and it goes straight to Gorilla Junk Removal. Here's another website with traffic and all that. Frugal, frugal Reality. How to find the best yard waste removal company. How to find a top... Uh, top yard waste removal company. You'll see on here, you go through right here, it says most junk removal services have, you click on that, it's a link pointing back to his website. Let's take a look at some other ones. Right here, reasons to visit Long Beach, California. You know, yada, 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 yada. And you go on here, Gorilla Junk Service. You click on there, it's a link back to his website. Now you go on here, another one. Let's see what we got going on here, the article here get back to the environment and you go and you read through the article and there's a link pointing back Long Beach junk removal click on that bad boy it's pointing right back to his website so that's how I did it and I continue to do it because Long Beach California is very competitive with the junk removal but that's how I got him onto the first page of Google for Long Beach junk removal here sitting at the top of the map listings we are still working on his website he is at the bottom of page one, two, but he's on page one nonetheless. Give it some time, build some more links. We're going to get his website, preferably up here, along to go with his Gorilla Junk Services business, Google business listing. So that's exactly the process that I use to get all the businesses that I help to rank the top of Google. In some areas, it's a lot easier than others. If you get a town with, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 people, sometimes just building the website, and just letting it be maybe doing some business citations is all it takes if you live in a place like dallas texas where there's probably millions of people it's going to take tons of what i just talked about it's going to take 50 web 2.0 it's going to take you know two three or four of those high quality links from another article it's going to take a lot more because there's more than likely going to be a lot more websites trying to rank for junk removal dallas as compared to junk removal in uh, Los Osos, California. It's a tiny little town in my county. It's by like 5,000 people. You know, it's going to be way more competition in a bigger area. So that's all I do. Some areas take more, some areas take less, depending on the competition. So that's my secret. That's how I get people to get their business ranked on Google. Um, it's a tedious, it's boring, it does take time, and it does take some money to make that happen. But in the end, it's probably worth it because you know, compared to Google AdWords, it could cost you a thousand, two thousand dollars a month for Google Ads. If you do your own SEO and eventually rank your website, you're going to save thousands of dollars in advertising and get your business found locally here online. And of course, you got to do your part and get the reviews and all that stuff and continue to do good work and uh, good stuff out there in, in your community. So that's all I got for you guys now. If you guys want a step by step process of how I make that happen, I got my uh, do it yourself junk removal course here underneath the video. Um, I, I have a free one. If you guys want to upgrade and get the paid one, I'm more than happy to just click on the link. I'll show you how to get that done. It, sh it shows you more detail how to make this happen. I'll show you all the ingredients, but it's, it's just the timing of it all, where you can outsource it all and save the most money to make that happen for your business. So that's all I got for you guys. Until next time.